hello hello welcome back to my channel if you like this video please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and what I'm gonna be talking about today is the books that I'm reading and, and the books that I'm gonna read this year I know that I'm gonna read more books and maybe at the end of the year I can talk about the books that I added to what I'm reading but for sure these are the books that I want to read this year <clears throat> so yeah I'm a little under the weather we all are and if you're from you know the Midwest well right now there's like a storm going on right now I live in Illinois and yeah but we're gonna go out today but nope we can't go um <clears throat> we looked at like the our GPS and on, on our phone the maps and to where we needed to go and there was like accident after accident after accident after accident we're like uh we're sick Maybe we should stay at home. Plus, it's like very wintry outside. So yeah, so the first book that I'm going to talk about, and I'm sorry for the reflection of my glasses, is just, yeah. So this book is called Life Lessons for Success. Like, wow. The, the title is just like amazing. <laughs> my cough. Sorry guys, so it, it's by uh, Linda Ganaway and I started reading it and I what it says is that it's, it's, um, this book is packed with tools and strategies to help you successfully learn your unique life lessons. So I don't know about you guys, but sometimes like me, like I go through something and I go like over and over like the same obstacle, like it's the same thing and it's like, what am I doing wrong? So like... This is when I was reading and I'm like, oh, like, that's a life lesson. I can't move on to the next lesson until I get that one right. So this is a book that just opens your mind. It's just like, okay, let me change something in this situation so it won't happen again. And if it does happen again, I won't fall for it or whatever your situation is. So this is a great, 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 great book. And I just started reading it. <clears throat> The second book that I'm reading right now, then this one I'm almost done, is also a great book. <clears throat> this book is called Dare to be Extraordinary by Barbara Palacios, and she was Miss Universe in 1986. Um, and basically she says, women always want to know how they can be good moms, good friends, good wives, excellent professionals, and women of faith. They are constantly asking the uh, they are as what they are constantly asking the author these questions. Barbara Barbara uses each story and illustration to share a clear teaching on these subjects, and I really do, I I like this book so much, like, it just the way she explains things is just so easy to understand and so easy to apply into like your life. And it starts a little bit dark. Me and my husband like read the same books. Uh, he ha He's going to read these books, but whenever I'm reading one, he's going to be reading other ones. But it's just a good book because it just, it, it shows that no matter what you go through in life, even as a child, like you can always become a great person. Like her, her story is not like a fairy tale story. It's like a really dark beginning that she had to go through and then for her to overcome all that yeah and now she is a you know i'm sure like an entrepreneur and and i know she's into business and i know that you know since she was a model she was able or not a model miss universe she was able to to do a lot of things with that so it's a great book ladies if you can find this book dare to be extraordinary read it especially if you come from a dysfunctional family aka us <laughs> we love them all of them even us we're not, i'm not saying we're not dysfunctional because we are <laughs> and <clears throat> um another one that i'm reading at the moment right now is by john maxwell developing the leaders around you this is a great book if you're in like management in the business anything like that anything that you want to make sure that your team is on point and that you guys are like synced this is a great book like um i work at a retirement home two times a week 
and I they let me keep my um, lead position, which I'm very grateful for, because I didn't have to. Um, and I worked two days, like. But in those two days, I know I I give my best, and I know that I I have a good impact because the girls really like me. They tell me that they like me. They like it, I just feel it. Like we are have good communication. We're not perfect, all of us, but. I really enjoy working with, with the girls at my job. And I think one of the reasons is because I read a lot of books that have to do with leadership and stuff like that. So I kind of, I'm more aware of how I, I talk to them. Like, you know, like only because I'm a little bit higher than them, it doesn't mean that it's going to get to my head. No, no, no. I'm going to take my responsibilities and do them and, and just take care of everybody as well as I would take care of myself and my feelings. So this is a good, good, good book. Anything by him is really, really, really good. Now, another thing that I'm reading is this devotional. It's called Trusting in God. And I got this at Burlington. So I don't know if you can get this like anywhere. It was $5.99. And it is such a good devotional. Like, I don't know. I've never um, had a devotional book like this. <laughs> So it goes every day. It's a new thing. So if you can like get yourself a devotional. It doesn't have to be this one. But a devotional. Especially like if you're new into like reading the Bible or stuff like this. I, I think a devotional is perfect. I am not so new. But I'm also like I'm not an expert of anything. Because I started reading the Bible like two years ago. But um, it's never been so like very consistent. So I like things like this that I can get like alone time with God and It kind of explains to you what they're trying to say. So I really 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 enjoy this Another thing that I'm reading. It's a different kind of a devotional And I don't know if it's a devotional. It's called the weekly prayer project And this is good. This is like once a week you sit down you read the verse and ask you questions and you answer them and you meditate on them and voila we should all read the bible period but yeah i pray that however long i stay on this earth man if i could read the bible like three times because it's long like it's not a book that you could just read like i could read all these books in one year and like get it but like the bible is like you could read the whole Bible in one year and reread it again and get something completely different because we all go through different things and that's the beauty about the Bible in my eyes and my heart it's like you read it you get it you read it again and it's like whoa like a different message and to me that's beautiful because we're, we're all in different stages you know okay so the book that I'm going to read this year oh <clears throat> well next month uh, and so on. Um, I get a month. Uh, me and my husband get a one monthly book every month. So we're going to get ours this month. And so I'm going to read that book. And then plus these books. So I can't show you those books because I get them every month. So first book. I already read this. But I'm going to reread it again. Because I was almost done reading it. And then... Uh, lost it so i want to read it again this is called personality personality plus how to understand others by understanding yourself by florence little roar can't say her last name this is a great book like before you know everybody judges people admit it you do too i've done it before and when you read this book you're just like oh like this is why they're like that or this is why i'm like that and like, it's, like, I feel like the more you understand yourself, the less you judge others. Because sometimes we judge others and it's like we're doing worse or the same thing. So this is a great book. If you want to get to know your kids in a different kind of level, like I understand my daughter even more from reading the much that I read from this. And But that's why I want to read it again. And I read a lot of books because I, this is the age of like information. The more information you have, the more you're, going to know what to do with it and how to use it for your advantage. So the more we know, and I should put this down, the more we know, the better for us in our life. So I really, 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 really encourage people to read. And maybe, maybe I'll talk about it in a different video of how reading changed my life because it truly did. And so, yeah, so this is another book that I'm going to read. 
This one is not even open, but this is how we get our books. And I didn't read this one. I don't know what happened. These two, I didn't read. So I want to read them. This one is called The Voyage by Miguel Aguado Vergizas. Vergizas? This is called An Invitation to Learn Principles of Entrepreneurship and Leadership. So that just says it all. And it's a little tiny book. So I'm excited to read this one. And so I can't really talk about this one because I don't know much about it. Um, <clears throat> and then this one is by Chuck and April Jones. 13 Secrets for Couples to Build a Home Business. So anybody that's trying to do something that has to do with business, any of these books, seriously, any of these books are going to help you. Because you need to read. You need to read. Even if you're doing... Like, I don't know, like Instagram stuff. Like, you want to be an influencer, you got to read. So you can really, really influence people and you can have them to read. And then I want to read this one. Today's Inspired Latina. And this is uh, Life Stories of Success in the Face of Adversity by Jackie Camacho Ruiz. So she, I think she has different volumes. This is volume three. And I actually met Jackie Camacho and she is an amazing person. Like, she knows how to freaking fly a plane like what i don't want to learn how to fly a plane a plane i don't know if she's on this i don't see her but yeah so uh it's just stories and as you can see it's gonna be an easy read i'll probably read like i right now i'm reading three books so i'll probably do three books a month if not two for sure and yeah so i'm excited to read this one another one for your mind think and grow rich by napoleon hill so this one's going to be more intense. Oh, there's a picture in here. I think my husband was reading or is reading or was reading this book. <laughs> it's us. So, <clears throat> and this is just Think and Grow Rich has the secrets that you need to change your life for the better, for the good. So that's how I'm going to say. Check this out. <laughs> Another one uh, by J Jason Friend. Uh, I, we met him. He's funny. He's amazing. He he has a few books. This one is The Power to Change. And me and my husband could connect with him because he comes from a dysfunctional family. And yeah, it's just not fun. Everything starts at home. So as parents, we want to build a happy home and a loving home for our daughter. Because we grew up fine, but we do have our... You know, I don't want to even say demons, but we do have our own problems that we have to, you know, fix or just become better people. And um, it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard. So reading books really opens that mind to help you really understand yourself. Like I said a thousand times, I know. But yeah, that's my Jason friend. <laughs> Breaking the distractive patterns in your life exactly like sometimes we just don't even know it and until we read it i mean tell me what's better someone telling you what to do and how to change or a book doing it i think a book you can't fight with the book because it's yourself reading to yourself <laughs> so <clears throat> i'm excited to read this one too the shepherd oh no not the shepherd shepherding a child's heart <clears throat> sorry guys by ted trip um yeah, shepherding a child's heart. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Bible stuff in here. Um, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Anything with the Bible, whoop, whoop, bring it along. Because I really, really, uh, I believe in it. So I'm excited to read this because I definitely need better, better guidance from, for, you know, my daughter. And future children. Thank you, sweetie. Another, this is such a great book. I started reading it, but I didn't finish it. So, um, this is probably going to be my next one so I can finish it. Because I even have, like, this is how much I have left. So, I'll probably going to read it in February and finish it and move to another one right away. Um, I think, I don't know, man. They're all great books. So, this book is so good. Max Lucado, releasing the burdens you were never intended to bear, traveling light, 
and it really like this whole book is uh and don't, don't get turned off if, if it's from the bible you know a lot of people do they're like how do you know that's real how do you know those are the real words from god well i've never met a person that's read the bible and has turned out worse so why not you just read it so this talks about the psalm the uh, promise of psalm 23 so it concentrates on the whole psalm which is the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then blah, 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 blah. Not blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read the whole thing. So yeah, search up Psalm. It's a really, really um, um, good verse or chapter, I guess. And great book. Traveling light. A lot of us need to travel light. A lot of us have a lot of baggage. And I have two more. This one is Love and Respect. By Dr. Emerson Eggerich. And yeah, love and respect. The love she most desires. The respect he desperately needs. So I'm excited to read this one. I know this one's going to be... Oh no, it's not that bad. I never really looked into inside of it. Because there's books with little tiny letters and those are not my favorite but if they're good i'll read them i don't judge a book by its cover i read it and yeah so i'm uh me and my husband always try to find better ways to be better with each other we've known each other since we were 16 and we've been married for seven years and almost seven years and we come with a lot of baggage prior to that and we know that we want to be better because we want to be better but sometimes it's hard it's hard living with your own mind imagine with another person in his mind <laughs> so um reading has helped us in that area so he's gonna read this book i'm gonna read this book he's gonna read most of these books too and it's really good I, in my opinion uh, to to read the same book so you can be in sync you know you want to be in sync with each other and our mentors and we have a few mentors and they read the same books all the time sometimes like us the same month so it's just we need to be in sync and we become in sync when we read the same books and obviously do activities together and do other things but reading yes I recommend and this book was given to me by one of uh, my friends and this is victoria austin it's called exceptional you so it's kind of like the extraordinary you but i don't know maybe not it says seven ways to live encourage empower and intentional so these are the books that i want to read in the bible of course like today i read matthew 17 and I'm just trying to get better at like really sitting down because reading the Bible is like you really have to like concentrate to, to see the message that you're going to grab from from that um, chapter. I, I don't read verse by verse. I think I will never finish the book. So I read chapter by chapter and uh, I could say I read John already. I started Genesis, but yeah, it's a long book. So I went straight to John. And I'm reading, I'm gonna, I'm, I have like a, a book of the Philippians and it has like questions to meditate on. So I'm gonna read Philippians and I'm reading John. So, I mean, sorry, Matthew. So yeah, these are the books that I'm reading. Um, sorry for my voice, guys. Sorry for the glare. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to go out today, but like I said, it's really bad outside and we decided to stay in so i decided to film so i hope you guys liked it like i said give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you would like for me to make so you can get to know me and i can get to know you guys and yeah see you in the next one bye